So we've been working to show that the microbial intelligence that we're pulling out of the soil can actually reverse all of that. And so, first of all, we create a boom in the microbiome when we put these carbon uh, resources back into a biologic system so we can diversify rather than simplify that, which the probiotic industry does. Probiotics create a monoculture in your gut. You don't want three species of bacteria. You want 30,000 species of bacteria. And so we don't have a probiotic that actually works to diversify your flora. At best, there's there's little tiny band-aids that you can throw on momentarily. You stay on a probiotic. It's actually been recently shown and published in Cell that it actually narrows the microbiome just as badly as the antibiotics do. The probiotic industry needs to disappear as soon as possible. In contrast to that, if we give no microbial micromanagement, instead just give back the communication network that coordinates behavior between the species, then we get balance and diversification happening. And so again, this is soil intelligence coming back into play in biology. When we add that to human cells, they immediately start making protein, enzymes that are responsible for detox, doing uh, genomic repair. It's just an incredible event. And interestingly, these molecules don't do anything on their own. The supplements that we now derive from them are the only supplements in the market that try to do absolutely nothing. They are trying to be completely passive players in biology to give back the wireless network that you would correlate very much so with your cell phones. Your cell in their body is very much like a cell phone. It has all of the machinery inside of it to transmit and receive information from the greater organism. But if you lose the wireless communication network from the microbiome that we now know is, is transmitting information between cells, you now become an isolated cell phone. With you seven miles away from the closest cell phone tower, you suddenly can't connect and the whole cell starts to stagnate. Your software can't update. You can't communicate with any other humans on the planet. You start to become an isolated and lonely entity. What you have just become at the biomedical standpoint is a cancer cell. A cancer cell only becomes cancer when it becomes totally isolated from its environment. And so first to do that, you have to cut all the tight junctions, which is what Roundup does. The World Health Organization is now finally identified as a probable carcinogen. You need to delete the word probable out of there. It is a carcinogen. We have a carcinogen that's grading uh, lonely cells and simultaneously killing the microbiome that would produce the communication network or the wireless communication that would help one cell speak to the other. And so in in really one chemical, we've got the perfect isolating chemical that we've created. And hasn't that been what we've seen at the macro level? Humans, 7 billion on the planet, never more of us here, are more isolated than we've ever been. Despite the internet, Facebook, Twitter, all these connective devices, I would argue we've never seen a higher level of loneliness, isolation, suicide, etc. in our civilization. And so really fascinating that at the microbial level and at the human cell level, we get isolation and loneliness. And the result is immediately at the macro level, isolation, loneliness, egocentrism. We forget we're part of a larger human organism called the Homo sapien. We lose the identity of species. We choose nationalistic paranoia over globalist thinking and all of the rest.